Hello, welcome to my channel Math with Nazia. In this channel, you will find a lot of tips and tricks across all the topics in math. If you are new to this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. So let's start with the today's video. In today's video, we are going to do short tricks for math calculation. So since the exams are round the corners, you people need to multiply in every chapter. Let it be percentage, profit or loss or any chapter, you need to multiply two numbers. So today, I am going to teach you how to multiply two numbers in a in few seconds. So now, let's start the first trick. So the first trick is, I am going to explain you how to take a square, how to find the square of a number when it has one, 5 in the 1's place. So for example, I am going to take 55. Now, let's start with the first trick. So now I am going to teach you how to take find the square of a number. So for example, I am going to take 55. So this trick is going to help you when you have 5 in the 1's place. Say for example, 55, 75 or 95 or any number which ends with 5. So let's see how do we do this. So whenever we have a number like this, 55 square, how are we going to do? You usually multiply 55 times 55 and it is at least going to take 5 minutes to find the answer. So the trick which we are going to apply, you will find the answer within seconds. So let's see how to do. So whenever we have uh, to find 55 square, let's take the 1's place, that is the 5. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the square of 5. So what is the square of 5? 25. It is easy. We need not remember this because we know already that 5 square is 25. Now when you see the next number which is again a 5. So we will take that number and the consecutive number that is 5 and 6. So 5 times 6. So what is 5 times 6? Right. 5 times 6 is 30. Now let's join the number. So the answer is 3025. Isn't it easy? So now let me do another example so that you have a clear idea of how to do it. Now let me take 85 square. So same trick. What are we going to do first? First we are going to find the square of this number. So 5 square is 25. Then I am going to take 8. And what is the consecutive number of 8? Right. It is 9. So 8 times 9 is? Right. It is 72. So I am going to, I will write it here so that you can remember 8 times 9 which is 72. So our final answer is 7225. Isn't it easy? This could have taken at least minimum 5 minutes for you to find out. But with this calculation you can find out the answer within seconds. Now let me take another example. Now I want you people to try this out. Let's take 75 square. So what are we going to do first? We are going to first find out the 5 square which is 25. Correct. Now what are we going to do the next step? 7. So 7 we have. So what we are going to take? 7 times the consecutive number is? Right. It is 8. So what is 7 times 8? Correct. 7 times 8 is 56. So our answer is 5625. Isn't it very easy to find? Now, I know you people would be thinking now it is fine for two digit. How are we going to get do if we get a three digit number? So that is also pretty easy. Now let's we are going to follow the same method in that. Now let me take an example. 125. 125 square. How are we going to find it out? We will apply the same two steps here. So what is our first step? Come on, start doing with me. The first step is 5 square. So 5 square is? Right, so it is 25. Now again 12. So what are we going to do with 12? We are going to take the consecutive number of 12, which is 13. So what is 12 times 13? 156 which is easy to find. So our final answer is 15625. So we have got our answer. So isn't it easy? Let it be any number. Whenever it has 5 in the 1's place, this is our trick we are going to apply. So this will help you out in your calculation to do it faster. So this was our first trick. Now I know you would be thinking if 5 is there, we have done all these calculations. What are we going to do if we don't have 5 in the 1's place? Right? So now our second trick is similar to that. Now the second trick which we are going to find when there is no 5 in the 1's place, we have some other random numbers. So now let's see our trick number 2. 
So now let's take a random number. So let me take 84. So to find 84 square, it takes a lot of time, right? 84 times 84. So that early trick was with 5 here. Any number you can take, any random number and try to use this trick. So here also we will, we have two steps to follow here, right? So the first step would be we will take the 4 square. 4 square is 16 and we will take 8 square. We will take square of these two numbers separately. So what is 8 square? 8 square is 64. So now I hope this first step is easy, right? So first we are going to take 4 square, then we are going to take 8 square. We have written this here. Now what are we going to do is we are going to multiply the three numbers here. 8 times 4 times 2. So 8 times 4 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. So that 64, be careful what are we going to do. We are not going to write it in the ones place. We will write that 64 here below 41. And we are going to add this to. So here we get 6, here we get 5 and then 6 plus 4 is 10, a carry over 1, 7. So this is our final answer. Isn't it easy? There are 3 steps here. The first step we will write the square of each number that is 4 square 16, 8 square 64. Then we are going to multiply the numbers which are there. So 8 times 4 is 32, 32 times 2 is 64. But we have to be careful that we are going to write the 64 in the center. We are not going to write from the ones place. We will write in the next two place. That is in the tens and the hundreds place. And then the third step is we are going to add it. Isn't it easy? Now let's take another random number. So let's take 43. So let's take 43 square. So what is our first step? Right. So first step is 3 square is 9. So whenever you have one digit number, this is a little small thing you have to remember. So whenever you have 3 square which is 9 or 2 square which is 4 or if you have 1 square which is 1, you will write it as 0, 9. You will always need a 2 digit number. Right. So you will write it 3 square is 0, 9 and 4 square is 16. Correct. So this step is fine. Now what is our second step? We are going to multiply the 3 numbers. What are the 3 numbers we have here? 4, 3 and 2. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. So where are we going to write the 24? Right. We will not write it in the ones place. We will write it in the tens and the hundreds place. Right. So we will write the 24 here. So now what is our third step? Yes. We are going to add them. So 9, 0 plus 4 is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8 and then 1. So we have got our answer. So our final answer is 1849 which is 43 square. So isn't it easy? So this would, I have been doing this from so many days so I can do it easily. So you people try random numbers. Whichever number is easy for you to try doing it. Take random numbers. Let it be 56, 48, 72. Any number you can take and try to do this. All right? So now let me take another question for you to have a clear understanding. So let's take another question. So let's what let's take another number like 71. Now let's now you people try to solve with me. Come on. So now what are we going to do whenever we have 71 square? So come on solve. What is the first step? Right. First step is 1 square. 1 square is 1. So what we will write? We will write it as 0, 1. We will not write it as 1. We will write it as 0, 1. Then what is 7 square? 7 square is 49. This is very clear. Now we are going to multiply the numbers which are above. 7 times 1 and 2. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. So where are we going to write the 14? Right. We are going to write it in the hundreds and the tens place. We will not write it in the ones place. And now what is our third step? The third step is we are going to add up the numbers. Right. So now here it is 1, 4 and then carry over 1, 5. So our answer is 5, 0, 4, 1. So try to do this. This will not, you will not remember this very easily. So try to do a few random numbers so that you have a practice before going for your test. Or you can watch this video before going for your test so that you, you remember all these steps. So I hope this method was easy for you to understand. If you found this video interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular update 
of all my videos and do not forget to click the like button so we have done two tricks and there is another trick if we have any number which is nearby to 50 how to find the square of that so today we are going to only concentrate on all these square numbers so let's see how are we going to do if we have a number like 47 52 48 45 53 all those numbers we are going to try to do it so this trick of nearby 50 is very easy in last uh, trick you had three steps to do but here it is very easy you can do it in a very easy method in one step so now let's see let's take an example of 47 so whenever you have a number like 47 square what are we going to do so you can apply the previous trick also so i will show you the difference between two tricks right so you can use the previous trick which we have learned you can use the same trick or you can use this trick to find it out so while using this trick you have to remember the number 25 so it is mandatory to remember the number 25 i will tell you why we are going to remember whenever we are going to do any square numbers which is in and around 50 that is in the 40s and the 50s you have to remember the number 25 so now nearby 50 right so this is all which is nearby to 50 so 47 is less than 50 so how much it is less than 50 it is 3 so we can write you if you want i will write it here so that you remember so 50 minus 47 which is 3 it is 3 less right it is 3 less so i will take the square of 3 so what is square of 3 so first step is i'm going to take the 3 square i'll just write it here which is 9 so this is our first step we will always write it as 0 9 right and now what is our next step because 3 we have subtracted here we will subtract 3 from 25 so next step is we will subtract the this 3 from 25 which is 22 and we will write it here so this is our answer so our answer is 2209 isn't it easy so th this you just remember the number 25 and you are all set to do it now let's take another number so let's take the second number as 48 square so as i told you you can try to do that method also you want to work it out try to work it out simultaneously so that you can see the difference right as usual we'll remember the number 25 okay so how much is 48 less than 50 2 right so i am going to take 2 square what is 2 square 4 so i'll write 0 4 so how much is 48 less than 25 it is 2 less than 25 2 less than 50 right so since it is 2 less than 50 i will subtract 2 so here 25 minus 2 what is 25 minus 2 23 so our answer is 2304 isn't it easy now i know you people will be having a thought like if what if it is 53 or 54 or 56 what are we going to do so this will be our trick which is less than 50 right it was less than 50 now i'll teach you a trick when if it is more than 50 right so now let's take the third example which is 53 the whole square so now we have 53 square how are we going to do now it is more earlier we subtracted right so now 53 minus 50 so what do you get it is three more right same way it is three more so i will what will i do i will take square of three so what is three square zero nine and since it is three more i will add it with 25 so as usual remember the number 25 I am going to add 25 plus 3, which is 28. So, here is your answer. So, the answer is 2809. Isn't it easy? Now, come on. Now, try to do this question with me. Let's take 56 square. So, whenever we have 56 square, what are we going to do? Same way, how much it is more than 50? We need not subtract here because you can do this all mentally, right? So since this is 6 more than uh, 50 I'll take 6 square so 6 square is 36 and then since it is 6 more I will add up 6 with 25 so what is 6 plus 25 I will get it as 31 
So here's our answer. The answer is 3136. Isn't it easy? Try to do more questions. These are the three to four tricks which I have taught you now. Try to take random numbers and find the squares of it. So I hope so this video was helpful for you. If you found this interesting, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you get a regular updates of all my videos. See, I again insist you before going for the exam, try to solve more random numbers so that you get the hack of it and you can do, do your calculation very fast. Right? And thank you for watching till the end.